So, hello everyone and welcome back to Millennium Arch. Today is a huge, huge game. It's a top of the table clash between Millennium Arch and we're away at West London Vets who are currently sitting top of the league. It's a big, big game. And when we get into the team news, you'll see we're missing a lot of players, including Taylor, who obviously got suspended in the last game. So, yeah, so it's going to be a big, big test for the boys today. Um, you know, we've got to try and get three points without Louis as well. Moses is also injured, you know, without a lot of key players as we now head into the team news for today and see who is in that starting eleven. And here we are. Obviously, we've got Tim as the gaffer, Ums as assistant. Charlie is in goal. It's a back four with Josh and Seb at centre-half. We've got no left-back, so Max has shifted out to left-back with Yorkie at right-back. We're playing a very narrow formation with Felipe, Ims, Moynan and Oli in the midfield. And up front is Ahmed and Connor. And on the bench, we have the one sub, and that is Daniel coming in for his first Millennium Arch game. Um, but yeah, very, very small squad for today for Millennium Arch. But hopefully we can still get the three points at the end. By all means, enjoy it. But enjoy it by being fucking disciplined here. You've got to fucking die to get three points! So into the game now. Millennium Arch versus West London Vets. And West London Vets do get us underway. There is a bit of a kick clash, I can't lie. I can only retell really them by the red socks, if I'm honest. So, um... Yeah, it's an interesting one, but yeah, we are underway here. Uh, West London Vets playing around the back and trying to get out, but Arch using that press very, very well. It is a throw in here taken by Yorkie back to Felipe. Felipe shifts it into Oli, and Oli takes on one man and gets fouled. Simple as that, and it's a Millennium Arch free kick here in a very good area. And it is skipper Max Harrison standing over. He puts the ball in the box, and it's Josh Roken. And it's 1-0. Is, is it given offside? I, I don't know. Yes! Yes, Josh! Josh to the camera! And it's given. It's given. Josh Roken has scored his second goal of the season. Um, yeah, it was given offside. It was a very, very, very strange one. Um, but yeah, great ball from Max here. We'll have another look at that. Max setting up the free kick. Josh is on side. He, yeah, he's miles on side there, Josh. A great run in behind, and it just came, just glanced it in. Um, yeah, brilliant start for Millennium March. 1 0 up, but it is a corner. It is Ollie Hazel standing over there as he puts it in. Ims with a flick on. It's going to Moynan, and just like that, it's 2 0. Two set pieces and two Millennium March goals. Moynan! Oh, yes! Joe Moynan with his first goal for Millennium March. Ollie Hazel, what a ball that is. Great flick on by Ims. And Moynan sets himself with a touch and then on the volley. So that's a really, really good finish from Joe Moynan for his first goal for Millennium Arch. And Ims is loving it. And it is a West London Vets attack here. It's a corner for them. They've played it short. Yorkie coming out to press. And it is Yorkie. Oh, dear. Yorkie, that could have been a penalty. The ref hasn't given it. The ref didn't really give a lot today. Um, but it is cleared away by Max and... Ahmed chooses not to chase that down. Ooh. See, ooh. Was a bit suspect there by Yorkie. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I would, I would have, I would have already given that as a pen if, if it was me. Um, but here come West London Vets. They put a ball over the play. It seems to be offside here, but Josh gets the ball, and Josh has clearly just been fouled there. West London Vets score, but. It looked like a foul. The, it's the goal stands. Oh, that was clearly a foul on Josh Verroken, if, if you ask me. Um, but it is another corner, and it's Ollie whipping the ball in. It goes all the way, and the keeper does claim it. Lenny March do seem to be causing a few problems from set pieces, though. Uh, it seems to be becoming the Burnley of our league. You know, scoring from set pieces, but they, uh, West Ham Vets try and create an attack, and it's Max Harrison here. On the ball as he brings play forward into Ims. Ims just driving through the midfield. He's so, so good at that. Plays corner and I think Connor is offside there. Good offside trap by West London Vets. But good bit of play there by Ims. You know, what a quality, quality player he is. And it's a ball whipped in. Just about cleared away. A chance for West London Vets to attack. No, Moynan is there. The ever-present Joe Moynan. And it's just kind of lofted back in by Yorkie. And... It falls out to Ahmed, I think, who's going to take on one or two players. Tries to squeeze it through into Connor, and it's Josh Verroken here. The centre half was forward, and it's a fantastic save. He should have scored, though. Connor with a chance, I think it was Ahmed. I couldn't see. 
but it's gone wide. But Josh Roken, what a chance there. Um, and he is now going to be taking a throw in. We do know he's got a long throw in his locker as he looks to get play forward. Moynan gets the flick on. It's a brilliant flick on as well. And Ahmed with a chance here. It's still Ahmed. Can Ahmed score? No, it's a fantastic save. It's going to come out to Connor. Uh, but Connor seems to be winning the corner here. It would be a throwing even, sorry. But I think the, that literally did go out for a corner anyway after the throw-in. So here is the corner being whipped in. The sun's a bit blurry here, but it's bouncing. It's saved by the goalkeeper. It's bounced out to Seb. And Seb on his second game for Millennium Arch gets a goal. And it's 3-1. And it's set piece FC at it again. Millennium Arch. And it's Seb with the goal this time. A fantastic fantastic header from him just kind of had to sort of just lift it over the goalkeeper Moynihan gets the header here it's saved on by the goalkeeper and then Seb with the header just made sure it was just in between the defender's head and the crossbar and just made sure it went in and it's 3-1 it's Millennium Arch what a time to be alive a, a very short squad so to speak and we're absolutely dominating the game it's been fantastic and that is half time a really really good performance so far by the Millennium Arch I wanted to do this. I'm so proud of every single fucking one of you. Do not disappoint us in the second half at all. Okay, everything stays how it's been. Everyone has been disciplined. Everyone's been doing their job. And no one has got below 100%. Like he said at the start, right? Wait, see, like, see, like, midfield. See, like, when we get to we mark someone up before they attack. They can't do anything because we're right there. Make it easy. Make everyone, it easy for ourselves. That's the everyone is so disciplined. Yeah. Yeah. They think they're doing. They think, look, they, they're trying to always go in and debate us out and shit. Keep doing what you're doing. All positives at half time then for Millennium March. A fantastic performance, and considering the short squad, all these players today have you know put blood, sweat and tears on the line today just to, just to play football for Millennium Arch and it's great and there's some fantastic performances you know, the, the, the passion from the side the, the determination just to I mean, look here at Max just screaming at Felipe just to get and Moynihan just to get in the box there and cover and there we go Max Harrison my captain there he goes look at him go plays the ball down the line into Ollie Hazel what can he do tries to lift it into Ims he does Ims holds it up plays it into I think it's Dan, I believe, who's come off the bench, and it's Ims back to Ahmed. What a brilliant bit of play this is. Can Ahmed finish? No, sure. Is that a penalty? Surely. It looked a bit soft, but well, look here. He drags it back, and it's a stonewall penalty. I mean, we're really unlucky there, because uh, it was a fantastic bit of play from Millennium March. We really did deserve a goal. You know, started all the way from Max, and uh, just built up the pitch, obviously. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's unlucky, um, but West London Vets have an opportunity here. It's absolutely smashed away. And it is Ahmed who's chasing it down here. He's been an absolute fawn in the side of these defenders. And Ahmed using his pace. He does win back the ball. And it's, it's, another, it's another penalty claim. I mean, Ahmed's been getting all, all sorts of these all season. Here we go. Let's have a look. Gets the ball roll here. Again, should have been a penalty. The ref just doesn't seem to want to give us penalties. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake. I can't honestly. I can't stand this. Yeah, the referees have been an issue. Um. It's not been great. But here come West London Vets. Are they going to cause an opportunity? Uh, number 17 cuts in and forces a good save from Charlie Moore. I think the only time that Charlie Moore's really been tested in this game, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's, it's a smart save as well. And it is an opportunity to attack. I believe it's Ahmed here who takes on his man and beats him. And Ahmed is on, is on the way here as he tries to beat uh, the defender here. The defender does win the ball back. And takes it away. And oh dear, Ahmed. Oh dear, it's all kicked off here. The guy who's Ahmed fouled has absolutely just started to launch him in the face here. But yeah, no, everyone, everyone's getting involved. Um, I think the outcome from that situation, obviously Ahmed did get a yellow card. Deservedly so for that foul. It was a tactical foul. Uh, did deserve a yellow card. And West London Vets have just scored as I was talking through that situation. It's now 3-2. It's going to be a very, very tight finish to the game. But the West London Vets player did actually get sent off for the push in the face, which was the correct decision. Um, but yes, yeah, 3-2. West London Vets scored from a corner, taking a leaf out of Millennium Arch's book. But realistically, I see Millennium Arch holding on now. I mean, me on the camera is absolutely horrendous camera work for me today. I can't lie. Uh, Casper wasn't available, but that is full time and it is 3-2 to Millennium Arch. That's how it's finished. A fantastic performance from the Arch. You know, real 
heart, real grit, real determination to get those three points in the end. With such a short squad, you know, missing Taylor, missing Louis, missing Moses, missing Grange, missing Tommy, missing a whole host of players today. Um, you know, the list goes on and on and on. And to still come out with three points, you know, the boys can hold their head up high. But this is the league table as it stands. We're level on points with West London Vets. Um, then playing two games more and just having a bit more goal difference than us. Um, Northfield Badgers are just behind on 12. Obviously, Green FC at the bottom with Hanworth Sports, who have actually folded. As you can see, they've played no games, got no points or whatever. So that means our 9-1 victory over them doesn't actually count. Uh, but we'll count it still in our record books. But yeah, they're folded. But fantastic performance from Arch. And we are a step closer to winning that league title.